Hey, what's going on, Army family? We're back with another video, guys. Back Welcome back to our channel. If this is yeah. your first time watching, guys. I'm Rayon. And I'm Brittany. And we got baby boy right here. We still gotta announce his name. Yeah. <laughs> when y'all hear his name, y'all gonna be like, oh, wow. Hey, so y'all can stop commenting down below what y'all think it is. Yeah. It's, it's very unique. unique. First of all. Very unique. Yeah, very unique. unique. Very but not like crazy. Classic. But not crazy. You may not say too much. Um, yeah. Anyways, though. Um, so yeah, guys, this video was is uh, a little emotional for both of us. You know. Very emotional. So um, so yeah. So today we're gonna talk about our date. Oh, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say date. Um. <laughs> you really laughing at you. You laughing. Hey. You laughing at daddy. Labor and delivery. Experience. Oh man. What's that? It's just so. Cause I'm here for you, baby. It's just like so crazy because okay, so we have to start from the fact of like the day before. Day before. Okay, so day before. What we was doing the day before? We were still actually prepping a little bit. Yeah, we were prepping a little bit, we and um, a little bit. my family came came yeah. in town. We had all the mass stuff, so we was just setting up. Yeah. Like, you know, like little last minute stuff. Uh, like little house furniture, dresses, yeah. and, like mm -hmm. stand, yeah. all types of different types of stuff we were setting up. Mm -hmm. And so, what we decided to do was because I had to be there so early in the morning, that Friday morning, um, we had decided to stay at a hotel that was closer to the hospital because. We were where we live right now is a little far from the hospital, yeah. so we decided to be close to the hospital. And you just it. Well, it's really not that far. It's, it's really not that far. Is honestly, far. but the fact nah, about that it is, yeah. But the fact that about it is, especially like in you're in the height of like anxiety and everything like that, mm -hmm. you just want to be close by. So it's like your mind is okay. So the, the we left here kind of late. We got to the hotel. Me and Ryan had our own room. We was able to relax a little bit, you know. We had some tears, cried some tears because, you know, you're not crying already, though. Yeah. Yeah. Cried some tears, um, you know, we had our little last moments together before we, before we came. And um, the next morning, it was time to wake up. What time we get up? We get up at like three something. Nothing, like four something. We have to get there. Five. Five. Five forty-five. We have to get there. Yeah. If we got up like four something. No, we got up at three something. I got up like around three. Well, I got up at four something. Yeah, we know. <laughs> so we got to the hospital, you know, my family, all of us got into well, the car. Let's talk about how you couldn't sleep. Yeah. First of all, because that's why you got up. You got Guys, up. I couldn't sleep because, you know, I don't know if my anybody has ever, racking. you know, yeah, especially like the anxiety of, of, of knowing that you actually have to go in to have the baby rather than the anxiety of like, Oh, like your water broke. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like you could just have like a regular day, and then your water could just break. But the fact that you know, like on this date, you have to go in and you're gonna be having your baby. The anxiety is kind of high, and I already have like a lot of anxiety with like different things. We'll get into that later. But um, All right. It was some things that it was some things on your mind on why you yeah. had anxiety. But we will we're gonna say that a little bit later down towards it. So, so, yeah, so we, we got, got to the hospital. Got to the hospital. They checked us in, checked everything us in. like that. The wait wasn't that long. We no, probably sat there for like um, five minutes. Last, yeah, about five minutes or less. Five minutes. And they took us to the back. They took us to the back. Put Brittany in the, in the we call it bed, put the bed, the hospital bed. Yeah, put us in the bed. I sat in the chair on the side. Yeah. We, we had like our own little section. Yeah. So, we basically, um, each person comes in and they talk to you. And they tell you like what's about to happen and everything like that. You have to change your clothing and then they gave Rayon his stuff to put on. Yeah, a nice little white white gown. We probably throw a picture in there a little bit. Of a nice gown from head to toe. It was, it was all covered up. Then they call it a bunny suit. Now it was time to go in. And guys, when I tell you my anxiety was so high. My anxiety was like at its peak, and all I kept on thinking about was the fact that I was gonna, I was gonna see my baby, I was gonna see my baby, I was gonna see my baby. 
but it's like I'm just happy he's here and I'm here. So when, when, when you got to the room, what they did to you? Okay, so when I got to the room, into the operating room, Ram couldn't come in with me. As yet. As yet, because they had to like. You could just put it there. Yeah, that's too hard. But so. Rayon had Rayon couldn't come in with in with me to the operating room. So when we walked into the operating room, Rayon gave me like a hug and a kiss and told me that he'll see me in a few minutes. And at that point I was already crying. So I walked into the operating room with them and um, then a lady, a nurse sits you on the table and then um, she gives you the anesthesia. The anesthesiologist gives you the anesthesia in your back. They have to like hump over. And he gives it to you in your back, and they were like, "Just breathe, just breathe." And like the nurses at that hospital, everyone at that hospital is freaking amazing. Yeah, it was I swear, nice. like nice. everybody at that hospital. The hospital is in the city. I'm not gonna say the name, but the, that hospital is one of the big. It's one of the top hospitals in New York. But that hospital, that's why they're the top hospital in New York. That hospital does not play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They a one service to what from the nurses all the way down like everybody you could just up. tell cares about their job and cares about their patients like it's crazy but anyway so i walked and she held me she held on to me and she's like just breathe baby just breathe and she was a young girl probably about my same age young girl she was like just breathe baby you'll be okay you'll be okay and he was putting it in my back and then um they laid me down and then I asked, I said, is my husband going to come? And they were like, yeah, we're going to go get him right now. At this point, my legs are numb. I turn over in the, in the, in the bed. I'm laying down. They, they put the drape over me. And um, I remember seeing Rayon come in. And he sat down on the side of me. They have like a little chair there for him. And I remember when he came in, he was like, you know they already start? And I was like, what? He was like, yeah. No, I didn't feel anything. Yeah, so before they before they do all of that, they like they like check to see like your numb level before everything happens. They'd be like, oh, can you feel this? Can you feel this? Let me know when you can't feel it anymore. So that's what they did. But then you came in. So go ahead. All right. So when I was walking coming, I already saw they was already in operating doing their thing. Oh, were you gonna say how you deliver? I mean, oh yeah. I, well, I mean, from what I said, I'm sure they already could tell. I had a C-section. Yeah, yeah. C-section. Yeah. So I already saw them cut you. Well, they was already in. The handle was already in, trying to. Yeah, maneuver thing, everything. And they had to drape up from like your chest up, or like from your like your waist up. No, I think from my breast. Yeah, from your breast up. Yeah. And it was like block, it was like blocking her, so like she couldn't like really see. I guess is that how they normally do C-sections? Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, what? I can't see because I wanted to see. I want to see. I already told Rayon that they was gonna let that yeah. there was gonna be like two point weeks. Nurse was like, yeah, we typically don't because people tend to. I'm like, I'm not. I was in my head, I was like, people gonna pass out or whatever. And he was like, but I was like, alright, but because I ain't wanna, I ain't wanna miss, I ain't wanna miss nothing. But then when I was back there, I was just comforting Brittany and yeah. like he was kissing me. I was telling him to give uh, me a kiss. We was having conversations. We was looking at the clock. All that I was like, I was like, they're not done yet. And he was like, no, baby, not yet. He was As we were looking at the clock, though, it was almost close to nine o'clock. So he was like, what time is he gonna come up? What time is he gonna come up? Pulled him out. What time? Eight fifty-seven. Yeah. And I actually threw up. I threw up on Rayon. I got some clips in there. Trust me. And I threw up on Rayon. I threw up on Rayon. Definitely. And then that's when everything kind of like just once he came out and he was safe, you heard him cry. Rayon left. Rayon went, walked over there to him to so, like pull, like yeah. cut them, umbilical cord, do all the other different stuff, and then um, and then they they allowed him to take pictures. The, the nurses took the camera from Rayon and was yeah, taking and pictures. Taking pictures of me, everything. Yeah, like, oh, and then and then they I brought. I thought I had to sneak my camera. Yeah, and then they brought the baby over. They brought him over, and they allowed us to take pictures together. They were like, "Oh, turn, take a picture," and then everything just. Her. Well, after he came out, so yeah, after he, he came, came out, and they were trying to like close me back up. Now yeah. things started to get a little. So we ran into like a little issue. A little stoplight right there. And after he came out, like a few minutes later, after I already saw him, kissed him up, everything like that, and then they said, okay, we're gonna take him back over to the table so that the 
pediatric um, rare skin you can look at him make sure everything's still good whatever oh my goodness, first then first. after a while I started to feel them in me I was like oh like you could feel them like oh whatever and then the anesthesiologist Ray was still sitting on the side of me the anesthesiologist was like okay like how much more minutes because she's starting to feel stuff she's starting to feel uncomfortable and they were like just a couple more minutes just a couple more minutes and then every single time they moved I was like oh and he was like you can still feel them and I was like yeah he was like okay and then I think they said something about general anesthesia now before you go into operating room they tell you all the possibilities that can happen before you go in so they tell you like oh if it gets too crazy we're gonna have to do and we're gonna have to do the general, general anesthesia but we like to leave that, that well. yeah that's knocking you out to the point where you're asleep and everything like that and so they was like but we leave that for the last resort that's the last resort so it is now to the point where it's the last resort because I can now feel them in my belly and they need a little bit longer time and I have now started to bleed more than they want me to bleed so now it happens so fast like I don't even know what happened but I remember where I was like, um, you're gonna have to do the general anesthesia, and he was, and the anesthesiologist was like, yes, we're gonna have to. And then Ray was like, well, we prefer you not to. And he was like, yes, he said, but it's for her safety. And he was like, yeah, but you know, well, we have, have to. to. Yeah, and I remember, yeah. and I remember. But yeah. at that point, though, before they put you under, they was already, they already gave you one point. A blood. Yeah. Yes. Giving you one so point. Yeah. they had already one given little, me one, one pint. Of blood. One, yeah. one pint of blood. Because I was starting to lose like a lot of blood, like you I said. Blood, right? So now it's to the point where they have to put me under. And I remember the guy, the anesthesiologist, just coming to me with the oxygen mask. And he was like, just take three deep breaths. And all I remember is, is that the nurse came to Rayon and told Rayon, you have to get out. And Rayon was like, what? I have to go? And, the, and, and all I remember was um, seeing him to the corner of my eye leaving. And I think I said I love you or something. Yeah, I guess. So I love you back to him, yeah. Because I had to leave. They didn't want me to stay. I was like, can I just wait right outside of the room? Yeah, we was like, and then it after. Like, she walked off, and then she came back. She walked in the operating room. And then she came out. I guess she was asking questions. And she was like, oh no, you can't stay here. You gotta go to back. I was like, fuck. I was like, damn. I was like, and damn, I don't this remember is what serious. happened after that. So, so I'm, this I'm in the turn. back there. Yeah, I'm in the back there now. I'm stressed out. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm super stressed. Was, and this baby was with me the whole time. Yeah, they kept the baby in the room because I was like, can I keep the baby? Because you know we don't want to. You know, so yeah. I don't want to keep the baby with them. I rather keep it. But then they was like, yeah, but if something happened to the baby, you know, it's right here. Yeah. You check on it. So I was like, alright, that makes sense. So I'm in the back there now, just mad, nervous as hell, I'm starting to get mad, emotional because I'm like, nah, this is not good. So the minute I'm back there, like five minutes, then nurse came, started speaking to me. And um, she was like, yeah, we just gave her another, another pint of blood. So I was like, that's two? He was like, yeah. I was like, how's the operation? So how's the, how's the, um, how's the surgery coming on? He was like, we're still working. It's not closing up as yet. We're still losing blood. Like, yo, I, I, you know, the type of stuff that was going through my mind, I don't know, man. Because it, it, it was bad. Like, it was bad. To the point. Like, like where they, like, they was, I felt like they wasn't really telling me everything, like, up to date. And then um, I'm in the back still waiting, and then this other nurse came and was like, we're going to have to move you. So I'm like, what? Move me for what? I'm like, how, I'm like, how is she doing? They was like, she's okay. I'm like, you sure? So I was like, so why y'all moving me? Yeah, we putting you in a bigger room. But I didn't believe it though, because I thought, you know, I thought something happened. But I didn't really want to go there though, but, you know, so I thought something happened. And they was just trying to move me as far as possible. If just in case, you know, like yeah, just in case I start going crazy, start breaking up the whole hospital. Cause yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I was gonna go 7:30 in that <laughs> hospital. You know? I was gonna go crazy in there. But they put me in the back. Hey guys, I just wanna say something. Rayon actually has a video of like when he was in the back waiting on me, like of him crying. I was stressed out. He was like going was through out. it. And I, when yeah, I saw I that, little, I ain't gonna lie to you. I cried a little. I cried a little. Go ahead, go ahead. I cried. It was like I couldn't imagine like 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 what else I'm gonna do like without you like you know baby here now like you like what the, like I'm gonna be lost in this shit like I was gonna be so confused with him so I'm in the next room now nurse came spoke to me telling me everything is fine everything is fine I'm like okay alright whatever 
And then now the head nurse that was actually head doctor, yeah, doctor. the head doctor. I'm sorry, the head doctor that was doing the surgery. She also had to call for another head doctor. Yeah, that was that was to a get some part. assistance. Because I remember at one point I started to hear another voice, like yeah, right before he and came. He came, yeah, he came before before we left the room, and I think before they put you, they put you on the Yeah. Thing. But she had to get some help too. So then she came in the room now and was finally talking to me, and I'm and in my head I'm like, it can only go, it can only be two things because she's not in the room no more doing the surgery so the surgery had to been done or or something happened to the point where now it's like she had to tell me what's going on yeah you get what i'm saying so i was like so scared i was nervous and she was like okay well we gotta talk to you she gotta tell you what's going on i was like what happened like just, like, just, just spit it out <laughs> you feel me like just spit it out and then she was like she's fine um she's just still under but she's so when she said i was fine I was like, like yeah i just i just closed my eyes. so yeah so when she said that Sorry, I got the camera cut off. When she said you that, you said close your eyes. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I closed my eyes and just went back like this. Like she was like, okay, go ahead, man, relax, man. And then we just kept talking. And she said she had worked on many, many cases, but she had never seen something like this before. Like we're to the point, like it was so hard to like close it up, like just to close back up. Like oh, man, like, like you know, I was I was gonna be so lost in this world. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I was gonna be so lost. And like a couple minutes after she left, Brittany came in with like a whole bunch of nurses. They pushed in on the bed. And she was so drugged up. Oh man, it was crazy. It was hard to convince you, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. It was hard. I really don't remember like coming out and like being in the whole, like when at the first, like the first time being in the postpartum room. You don't remember nothing from that? I don't remember like that at the beginning. I only remember like at the. Like once like everything wore off and like my family decided to come by and your mom came by, that's all I remember. But like at the beginning part of it, me coming into the room, I don't remember that at all. But honestly guys, like when I got to when I got to when I got to see him, when I got to see him, like before they put the like couple minutes after that, they they said that oh we gotta put you under. And them putting the mask over my face, I'm not gonna lie. The first thing that hit in my head was that I got to see him. I got to see him because leading up to my labor, to, leading up to my, to, to the labor, I had crazy anxiety and I thought that I was not gonna see him. Because you know, pregnancy is like, has, pregnancy is very, very scary and you know, they always say like it's one foot in the grave or one foot out and that's always a fail when you have in your head the way how you want your 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 delivery to go and then when something comes to the point where it's like it's not gonna go how you want it to go it's like anxiety kicks it up automatically because you're like okay the only way that you know is natural is to do it naturally but the fact that now I have to like do like major surgery to get him out I've never had surgery before in my life never been under never been nothing never been cut nothing nothing in my life so well I was fine when I got my tonsils taken out but that right there was so traumatic for me and then when I came to it I saw his face and I saw Rayon's face everything like that it was just like I remember that night I cried had life again. I had, like I cried, I cried, I cried. I cried so much. And even still now today, actually if you ask me or like I still cry. Yeah. Like I still like I still cry because it's like that could have gone so different. Yeah, it could've went could have went left. But I try to tell her, you know, it could have but it didn't, so we just gotta be happy that way. And I just think I just thank God so much. Yeah giving those doctors the ability to be able to do what they needed to do and for giving them the, yes but do, like giving them the ability to do what they do and the ability to know that like knowing what to do like instantly like not allowing things something to happen and then doing it like they did it like they did it like on like just instantly and I thank the Lord for that I'm just thankful that I basically feel like, you know, 
like I got a second chance if that makes sense because it's like when you when you've been put under you don't know what's going on you could not come back that's why I say if you do surgeries if you don't have to go under and on top of that and on top of that at the end of the day they had to give me four pints of blood Three while I was in surgery and one when I was in the postpartum room right. because my so levels were still right low. Before, so that's a lot of blood. That's a lot of blood. That's a lot of blood. If you lose, if you lose more than four, four points of blood today, you could, you could literally die. Yeah, so. that is crazy. And hey guys, I have like pictures of my arms and something like that. My arms were so bruised up, guys, but I did not care. I don't. I did not care. I did not care about any of that. The only thing I cared about was the fact that I still had life. That I had the ability to walk, to talk, to know what's going on, to be able to hold my baby, to be able to feed my baby, to be able to see Rayon, see my parents. Like, that's all I cared about. I didn't care about nothing. I didn't care about nothing else. Nothing else mattered. But I can honestly say now, it's like, I have a new view on a lot of things. I have a new view on a whole lot of stuff. And I do not, I do not take this opportunity to be able to be here to be his mother and be your and be a friend or a sister or whatever a wife or a, a, a partner I do not take nothing for granted I don't take life for granted because like I said when you have in your head how you want something to go and then it goes totally different than what you want it to go like a lot of things go into perspective for you and you realize that the small it's stuff second, don't matter. Second, the second chance. Yeah. It's like the, the small stuff don't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much, guys, we 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 the laws Britney. Pretty much, Let's just put it like that. The laws Britney. It was that bad. Yes. But what I would do it. I would do it. I would do it a hundred times more, just to bring him into this world. I don't. I. I the dirt. I don't. I, I wouldn't say under different circumstances because if we had different circumstances, we would not be. But I would do it. I would do it a hundred times more to bring him into this into this world. I'm just looking at his face now, like oh my god, like he's so sweet. He's like the sweetest little boy. And he like the sweetest little boy. The sweetest little boy. And I, I think sometimes like imagine if I didn't get to see him. So, with that being said, though, guys, um, we're gonna wrap it up right here and we're gonna put some clips in so you guys can see because we did get to record just a little bit, but we really wasn't really, I like, we really wasn't focused that much on recording on it yeah. because, especially like, after everything, we just was yeah. focused on just spending time, yeah, spending time and making sure. Putting all those little clips you can put in so you guys can see. Um, yeah. And then we have to video of like why we had to deliver, the way right. we delivered. So why we had to, right. So why the pregnancy was so complicated. The pregnancy was so complicated. The ending. Right. No, the no, pretty ending. much just the ending piece. Just yeah. the Because you guys have seen us. Yeah, yeah I was fine. I've been fine. Fine. But it's Everything. just towards the end and it's getting crazy. Like two weeks before. Crazy. No, a week. A week before I delivered. I, I delivered at 37 weeks. So a week before I delivered. It was a week. Yeah, like around 32, 33 weeks. So it was like almost like a month. Really? Yeah. But that kind of pushed for it, for it to even be 37 weeks. It was, it's because of what happened is the reason why. I think that was 33 you, weeks. Right. 33 weeks. Is the reason why you deliver at 37 at weeks because they was going to actually make you deliver that same 33 weeks or at 35 weeks. Yeah. So. No! I was 35 weeks. Because I remember when the nurse came in and the nurse was like, we typically would. No, would, so you was 34. You was 34. Yeah, 34. 34 going on 35. Going on 35. 34 going yeah. 35, right. 34 Guys, that, that right there was and another later, crazy two time. Weeks later. Wow. Yeah, so that right there kind of. Changed the whole, the whole thing, of everything, everything because, because of what happened. So, stay tuned, guys. The next video will explain like exactly what happened with that. So, yeah. but we just thankful that we were able to experience this, to be able to be parents to him, and we just thank the Lord for all the blessings and all the mercies. Cause 
But some people, some people don't like the idea like what I did. So I'm gonna take it up in front. Yeah. They don't. Hey guys, as you can see, we can't really leave the house. You know what I'm saying? A lot of stuff is already set up. You know, baby boy is on the way, guys. Yeah. Can't really go to the hospital right now. So, when is he coming? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Baby boy is coming. And the boy is not waiting. He's no. coming. I was about to say his name just there, but yeah. Comment down below what y'all think your name is, but guys, um, we're excited, we're nervous, we're anxious, we're curious, we feel like all the above because we don't know how to feel, and I'm just trying to keep her as strong as possible, you know, because, but tomorrow I'm laying around this time, somebody else will be with us. Yeah. Wow, our life is about to change forever tomorrow, baby. Yeah. Ready for that? Yeah. Love you. Stay tuned, guys. Yeah. Walking in. I'm with her right now. But yeah, man. She's getting ready. She's in the bathroom right now. Changing. It's literally 6.08 on a Friday. 6.08 on a Friday. We got here from 5.45. Two hours before. Uh, yeah, man. We got to get this. We got to get this going, baby. Got to get this done. We're ready for this, man. Baby boy is here. Yikes! Hey, hold on. I'm starting to feel nervous. What time is it right now? 7.17. baby. Raise up your shirt. Let me see how they got you hooked up. Right now they're doing some drip, IV, they took blood, checking the baby, making sure everything, how you feeling baby? Feel good? You got this. And right now baby boy is acting up. He's moving all over the place right now, as always. And he was just kicking up a storm just now too. It literally took them about... 30 to 45 minutes to find the heartbeat. Well, they could find it, but every couple of seconds, like he's moving. So they're losing it. Chasing babies. It's starting to get real, man. It's starting to get real. There he goes, getting ready. Take the jacket off. You want to take it off? She has to like tight. Last oh. So we're gonna cut right here. Boy, get away from me. I'm joking. I'm joking. I can be a doctor, you know. Sure. That's hard, man. They just took Brittany out. She's gonna go in the room first. They're gonna get her ready. And then they're gonna call me in. About 20 to 30 minutes, I think after they give it the first, um, the first dose or first shot of anesthesia, and then um, they're gonna call me in. It's crazy, man. She just got real emotional, real emotional just now. She started crying because it's coming down, man. It's coming down to the wire. Um, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I feel myself getting a little emotional too. I ain't even gonna front. I ain't even gonna front. Yeah. We got this though, man. We're gonna pull this through. When I get to the back, I'm gonna try to see what I could do with the footage. But um, yeah, we're getting there. We're almost there. Guys, please pray for us. We got this. Let's go.
I'll be okay. Got this. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna come up like this. <laughs> How you feel? Still feel nauseous? No? Got this. Got this. I love you. Even in the bowl moment. Spill on me. Guys, right now the baby is good, but uh, Brittany's not doing so well. Just, they just put her to sleep because there's a, there's a lot of there's a lot of bleeding and there's more bleeding than normal. And uh, the anesthesia that they gave her, you know, her spine started to wear off. So um, they had to give her, I think, general anesthesia. I think that's the one to knock you out, to put, put you under. So now they, they just put her to sleep. So I'm just back here waiting. Baby is fine though. Pray to God that she's okay though. Pray to God. Pray to God. Thank God. I'll say surgery. It just came out. Baby boy's right here.